Hey guys, I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com and today I wanted to show you how you can integrate some really cheap RF based remote control sockets such as these into your DIY home automation system like OpenHab or Home Assistant. Now these are really super cheap, they come in packs of four, usually about 30 or 20 dollars. I picked these up from a UK shop called Maplin for 20 quid on sale and they come with this little remote control. Now the problem with these sockets is that there isn't any smart home hubs on the market as far as I'm aware that will interact with them. You could of course buy some Zigbee or Z-Wave or Wemo Wi-Fi sockets but they cost upwards of $30, $40 each so again these are a hell of a lot cheaper. Now what I'm going to show you also works for any other uh, RF based product around your home such as this budget projector screen which I bought for about $100. Again it comes with an RF based remote control which won't integrate into anything else. But using the method I'm going to show you, you can add them all into your smart home system. So the key in getting this working is a Node MCU Arduino compatible development board. They cost less than $5, they're Arduino compatible, they have built in Wi Fi. So this is just going to sit on your network and listen to incoming. MQTT commands. Now if you have no idea what I just said, we've got another video I'll link to now which explains all about the ESP8266 Node MCU dev board and I've got another tutorial explaining the basics of MQTT. Essentially it's a bit like Twitter for Internet of Things devices, it's a very lightweight messaging protocol. And we pair this up with again less than five dollars for a 433 megahertz RF transmitter chip and this is the one which is going to send out the signals to the RF based sockets and any other accessories you've got. Essentially this acts as a gateway, it listens to messages on the MQTT protocol and then it forwards them on to RF. You'll find that sockets such as this work out of the box, if they have dip switches or little dials to select the channel and ID then they'll just work. For devices such as this projector screen it gets a little more complicated because there are no standard codes. However, when you buy the 433 megahertz transmitter chip you'll actually typically buy it in a pair alongside a receiver and what you can do is wire this up to the same development board and then press random buttons on your remote control and it'll listen in and tell you what codes are being transmitted. Then you can modify the code that I'll give you in my tutorial in order to transmit the custom codes that you need to control other devices. So for full instructions on how to do all of this, the code you need and links to buy the parts that you need less than $10 in total, head on over to makeuseof.com, link in the description and then you too can add in all these cheap RF sockets and other custom RF based things into your OpenHab or Home Assistant DIY system.